Jonathan. Hey, buddy. Hey, how we doing? Hey, hey Dad. Great. Have, Not as good have, as you. Have we settled on music for you yet? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, that's, a good oh, that's right, because you are from Alabama. It's fantastic. Can All right, so that, that during the you were, you, How long did you spend uh, time in Alabama? Was it f- four or five years, and then you moved to Minnesota? Is that what happened? <laughs> no, no. I uh, I grew up there until I was 15. Oh, then, really? Uh, you were, oh, you went to high school there? Yeah, I went to high school there for a year, and then I went to boarding school in Indiana, uh, Culver Academies in Indiana for three years. Yeah, and then I went to junior hockey for a couple years, a couple different places, and then made my way to St. Cloud. So, gotcha. So, Dowder, let's talk about last night's game. You led off the scoring in the second period uh, at 2.49 of the second period. That was a wild, kind of woolly second period for the Caps. You guys got up to a 4 nothing lead. It looked like you were cruising along, and then the Flyers scored twice. It looked like they almost scored a third goal, but Logan Thompson sprawled out, kept the puck from going over the, the line at the net. That was a huge play. Talk about that second period and talk about your goal uh, to lead it off. Yeah. Um, you know, it's pretty fortunate. I took a penalty there to start the start the second, which is never good. Um, but Sellers did a good job killing it off. And then I was just kind of fortunate to get out there and join the rush. And then uh, Sandy made a really, really nice play to the middle. Um, you know, he was kind of low playing forward. He's leading the rush. So I kind of took a peek around and it ended up just, it was really just trying to back out of there uh, and and cover for him while he had a chance to get back and puck just kind of followed him and then he was able to kind of find me a little open in the slot and uh, and I think we took advantage of some tired some tired power play guys that had been on for a little bit and puck was just able to kind of find his way in the back of the net so um, but that uh, that second yeah it was tough I mean you know where, what do they say hockey worst uh, worst lead is a four goal lead but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it, you know, I, I think, I think not every game is going to be your, your best full 60 minute game. Um, you know, I mean, you'd like it to be in a perfect world uh, and you're still going to lose some of those hockey games, but you'd like to play a full 60. I think last night, um, you know, we played probably 35 to 40 good minutes. Uh, and then, um, you know, Philly, Philly played, you know, Philly played, what do you want to call it? 25 you know, 30, 40, whatever you want to call it, yeah. uh, good minutes. And, and the game kind of just went back and forth a little bit. I mean, they're, they're a good team. They, they have guys that can score. Uh, they showed that last night. I mean, I think Tom, Tom or, uh, he bailed us out a ton, uh, when we needed it, gave us a chance to win that game. Uh, but you know, we, we did a good job at the start. We had a good start. We had a good second period. Um, so you got to take some positives out of that. So. Does it get chippier on the ice when you play them back to back nights? It definitely does. I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't really anything that kind of carried over from uh, Tuesday night's game into Wednesday night's game, in my opinion. I mean, that, that can happen sometimes where, you know, something happens late in the game or, or in the middle of the game and the game's tight and you don't have an opportunity to, to pay someone back and, you know, you're playing them the next night. But I think, you know, Big Mac uh, and Delorier had, a, had a, you know, one, probably one of the best fights I've ever seen from the two of them. Uh, hmm. You know, that was incredible. They, they took care of that their business there. And, and then um, – and then, yeah, nothing really carried over, but it did get a little chippy last night for sure. I mean, I, I think we have a lot of history uh, with, with the Flyers. We play them a lot. So. Doubter, do you feel like you get a mental edge in that home-and-home home when you win the game in their building and you kind of demoralize them, and then the next night you know you've got them at Capital One? Does it is that like going through your guys' heads at all? Uh, I mean, uh, it, it's funny. Guys had mentioned that. You know, it's always nice to win the, the first bit of the back-to-back, but um, – I mean, in my, in my opinion, I think you want to go out and obviously your goal is to win every hockey game. Uh, it is great to win in their building and then knowing that you're come back, coming back in our, our home building using our crowd. But I think uh, <laughs> what, what uh, you know, I, veteran teams, you know, like ourselves will be prepared for – Philly was going to have their best last night, right? Like, I mean, their, their coach, uh, just like any – all of us know if we um, – if we have a bad night, our, our coach is going to be on us. He's going to be, we're going to be watching film. We're going to be, you know, pissed off being at the rink. And, and so teams are going to come out flying. And uh, as a veteran team, I think you got to recognize that, which I think we did a good job of that last night. I hate to ask a basic question, but I never played hockey. And then, you know, when you're in the arena, you're so far, I can never hear. How much trash fucking is actually occurring? Uh, I mean, a lot. Yeah. I'd yeah. Say every shift. A lot of chirping. Really. Every really? shift. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a lot of. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I, you can't I don't, say. I, I get it. 
Yeah, I don't tend to be one to come up with anything too creative. It's more of just a lot of FUs and you right. know stuff like that. <laughs> but it's all the time. Over. It's constant. Yeah, it's constant. Yeah, I mean, there's – you know, you can tell. I, I think the crowd, you know, you, you guys watch sports. You can tell when a game is kind of floating along and there's not much intensity. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you can you can feel that, right? But I yeah. think, you know, in, in hockey – it's funny in hockey, it can go from kind of being a, a little bit of a sleepy game to all of a sudden somebody takes a liberty on somebody or somebody does something a little cheap and then it's um, on. that pisses everybody off. And then you can go from <laughs> zero to 100 pretty quick. Yeah. All right, Dowder, well, thanks for the time. That's a- awesome. After a game day, we appreciate it. Best of luck against the Lightning on that Saturday night. And we'll talk to you again next week. All right, Sweet thank home, you, Alabama. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Got up. the tune. We got it ready.